Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm David Knight. It's January the 6th, 2014, and here are our top stories. Tonight, has Fukushima radiation already hit the California coast? Then, crisis as U.S. sailors gain cancer from the Fukushima cleanup. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. Ah! We know we're under attack! We know it! We're breaking the conditioning! Ah! Ah! Well, there's a lot of snow falling around the country right now. As a matter of fact, record amounts in some areas. We're going to be talking about that later in the show. But it's not so much the quantity as it is what's in the snow. We have a report from Paul Joseph Watson that it's not Missouri so snow found to contain radiation that's double the normal amount. Now, this is from a YouTube video, and the person who posted it said the radiation return from the snow precipitation is returning double the normal background amounts. And he said that this is from the snowfall because this happened right after the snowfall. He said this means that small particles of radioactive material are indeed coming down in the precipitation. Past tests showed about 30 counts per minute in the same spot on a nice day with no precipitation. He added that this also happened with snowstorms in 2012. Now, someone else put up a video that has now gone viral with about a half a million hits, showing a five-fold increase, 500% increase in California on the beach. This is uh, another article by Paul Joseph Watson. Has Fukushima's radioactive wave already hit California? In this Geiger counter reading, the background radiation levels at San Francisco were five times the normal safe level. And so what's going on? We see these individual reports coming out, but we don't see anything from the officials. Now, when an official was asked, this is what he had to say. This is County Environmental Health Director Dean Peterson, and he said he wasn't convinced of any link to Fukushima. He said he, it might be things like red painted disposable eating utensils. Now, I looked that up. I couldn't find anything at all about red paint or utensils being radioactive. You would think that if that were a concern, the EPA would be all over that. They would either ban the paint or ban the utensils, whatever it was that was causing it. I looked at the EPA, and what they said was as recently as the 1930s, 1930s, that Fiestaware used uranium oxides to create the distinctive orange-red color of its dinnerware. Is that what he's talking about? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense that he would talk about that. Maybe he was just being flippant. But that's the kind of stuff that we're seeing from officials. So this can take a lot of forms. The government can just ignore it and be silent about it. They can get the media to help them out about it. They can ridicule it, as we just see this county health inspector do. But they can also distort the statistics. Now, a good example of that is this Forbes story here, where they talk about, this is a quote from the story. It said, the oceans have tritium in them. In the Pacific Ocean, the radiation from tritium is 370 pecabecquerels or 370,000 trillion becquerels. Now, that's an argument that distorts the quantitative risk because you don't take this amount of the radiation that's coming out of Fukushima is not evenly distributed over the entire Pacific Ocean, of course. It's concentrated in some areas. So in those areas, it's going to be much higher than it is over the entire Pacific Ocean. Or they can distort it by talking about the quality of the radiation. They can talk about background radiation instead of talking about ionizing radiation. Or they can just come out and push back against us and saying that they're going to debunk it and actually lie and spin what we're saying. The InfoWars crew absolutely loves coffee because we love being awake. And I am somewhat of a connoisseur of coffee. So many times you go to a restaurant or even to a coffee shop and the coffee tastes like garbage. And in all the different coffees I've tried, my favorite is grown in the high mountains, in shade, Arabica, on the border with Guatemala in southern Mexico by the Chiapas farmers. I make sure we've done the research. I make sure it's the very best product that we can offer you when I put my name on it. And I believe, and it's my taste, so you may differ, that this is the best coffee in the world from Southern Mexico. Wake Up America Patriot Blend, 100% organic, Arabica shade grown. And then we have the Immune Support 100% organic coffee infused with a special type of mushroom known to boost the immunity. This coffee is seriously so smooth. I normally have to douse my coffee with cream and sugar and cinnamon and all kinds of tasty treats, but this I drink this black. It is so good. Well, that's why I like it is that it has a kick. It has really good caffeine in it. It has a good clean wake up that lasts for a long time. Doesn't give me a headache, but it's so smooth. It's so delicious. Just try it out for yourself. I'm telling you, this is my favorite coffee. We went through a lot of trouble to bring you this. 
Just try it, and I think you'll be hooked like we are here at InfoWars. Well, folks, find out for yourself and support the information war today. It's all available at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Oh, my God.